Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick video to explain how you should be filling in this KWL chart. You might have done a KWL chart before uh, in elementary or middle school where you have one column where you write down everything you know, one column where you write down everything you want to learn, like questions, and one co column with everything that you learn. But the thing is, that type of KWL chart is too simple. So I modified it so that you can correct information that you've learned in the past that might not actually be true. And you can add new information that you learn before you decide what questions you still have. So yesterday you should have filled in just the what I think I know column, just the first column. That's all you had to do yesterday in this chart. So I'm going to use coronavirus as an example because that's on everybody's minds and I think it's really um, easy to use as an example because there is so much false information being spread about it. So even though I'm going to use coronavirus as an example in this chart, you are using information about the Holocaust to do your assignment. So in the what I think I know column, I'm going to write um, that it is similar to a cold or flu. I'm going to write that it started in China. I'm going to write that only older people can get it. I'm going to write um, that it's spread from respiratory droplets. I'm going to write that social distancing can help stop the spread. And those are several things that many people know or think they know about the coronavirus. Now, I'm going to look at information about the coronavirus and see whether the information confirms, corrects, or adds new information to what I already think I know. So, let's see. Um, it's an illness caused by a virus that can spread from person to person. It's a new coronavirus can range from mild, no symptoms to severe illness. Um, let's see. This doesn't tell us anything about where it came from. So I'm, I'm going to leave that part alone for now. Um, it doesn't really say what it feels like. So I'm going to leave that part alone for now, but it does tell me everyone is at risk of getting COVID-19. So this piece of information here that only older people can get it, I'm going to have to put that in the corrected info section. So instead of only older people can get it, I'm going to write everyone can get COVID-19. Okay spread from respiratory droplets. Uh, it says you can become infected from respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. So that goes in the confirmed section. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put an X. I'm going to say when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. Okay. And social distancing can stop the spread. There's a whole section just on social distancing. So I'm going to say that is also confirmed. It says, stay six feet apart. Oh, 
Okay. So just from reading this one piece of information, I found that one of the things I thought I knew is actually not correct. And I've added the information here to correct that previous uh, thought that I had. I also was able to confirm two of the things because the information here matched what I thought I already knew. Now, there's a lot of new information on this chart, on this uh, page here, that I had not written in my first column. So I would add that new information here. So let's just pick something as an example. Um, Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. I'll say that. So disinfecting and washing hands for 20 seconds or more can help remove the virus from hands and surfaces. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to add every piece of information, but that's basically what you would be doing. Any piece of information that you did not already put in the what I think I know column, you're going to add to the new information column. Now, there are a couple of things here that were not in the information that we read at all. So I'm gonna take that it's similar to a cold and flu and started in China, and I'm gonna put that in the what else do I want to know column. So um, I need more information to either confirm or correct that it's similar to a cold or a flu. So is it sim similar to a cold or flu? Did it start in China? And let's say, is there anything else that I might want to know about this? Um, it says here, uh, I'm going to add this to my new information column, actually, that there's no specific treatment, but you can seek medical care. So I'm going to add new information. There is no specific treatment. That's new information that I got from the reading, but maybe what else I want to know is when will there be a vaccine for COVID-19, okay? So this is just an example, but you are going to essentially do this same process for what we're learning about the Holocaust. So instead of filling in this KWL chart with information about coronavirus, you're going to fill in this KWL chart with information that we're learning about the Holocaust. Hopefully this clears up any confusion that you were having about how to fill in this modified KWL chart. Uh, if you have any questions, you know you can always ask me. All right. Thanks. Bye.